faggot, you've been whacked since your dad bust his load. You ugly, overgrown fucking fetus, you got the swagger of a one year old. Oh shit, oh shit, check it out. After six months of ducking me like a little fucking hoe, Smeagol finally clambered out his cubby hole, submerged from the undergrowth, and grew the fucking balls to battle me outside his comfort zone. So you're just gonna come with the same shit? But on a different day, it's like you always pick the same dinner plate. Me, I'm three courses. Tip the waiter, snatch your ribs for later, slice you like a fish fillet. I'll marinate your bird, so them breasts got an expensive taste. It's funny, I eat chicken steak, whilst your chicken gives me brains. You lack toast and peas, honey got that milk to shake. That bitch is cold, and if there's snow, she'll let me cut something like a Christmas cake. <laughs> I will body bag this cocky bastard. I'll give you a slob of a mother the donkey cock schlong doggy style till her coccyx fractures watch me stomp this actor you're softer than a box of pampers looking like starving marvin's doppelganger you ain't, you ain't a frolic gangster shot and crack and cock and hammers dead that propaganda you're a proper wanker with a head like a yachting anchor plus you drink from briggsy's ginger dick like it's a bottle of orange fun i'd rather talk about them chubby jokes <laughs> Cause I'm no fitness coach, but well, those tits are gross. <laughs> I've got some tips and notes to help you get ripped and toned. You need to ditch the toast and switch to oats. <laughs> you need, you need to leave the chips alone and stop looking for a pig to roast. You need to give the gym a go if you wish to slow your nipple growth. <laughs> you need to sing sticks and stones when the kids at home ribbon poke fun at your whiff and load. You need to scrape the bits of sticky dough and chicken bone from your titty folds. <laughs> you need to hit the pool and try some different strokes without the assistance of a swimming float or your tippy toes. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. I'm just trying to help you fit in those skinny old t-shirts you get free from sponsors who didn't know how fat you look in video. <laughs> <laughs> Every one of them was killer quotes, but since they're all about you filling your face, I guess they're all just filler jokes. <laughs> Keep going on like you're some madman on the steads. When I know for a fact psychosis holocaust took your cig out your mouth, snapped it, and slapped the fucking snap back off your head. Look, you ain't shit when you ain't home on your own settlement. You only got a face in the scene because you're disastrously known for globally, for robbing a globally known veteran. Mm. So when karma bites you, I jack your shit, subtract your chips, divide your flesh and leave you stumbling home with a broke skeleton. Just do the math and you'll fucking understand that you deserve a dose of your own medicine. <laughs> your auntie handles my girth. <laughs> I know you wish you could clutch every strand of cash on the earth, but I hope throughout life your financial situation grows dramatically worse. I will choke slam your nan on a hearse and shout, that's a philosophical unanimous verse! <laughs> But you can't scrape 20 quid for a bus or a coach that his company loaned you a chunk of its grossings. He doesn't bring no product to sell to recoup the money he owes him. He's Matthew Pinson in his prime getting all his money from Rowan. Oh. But now he says it's all love, it's all lovely. Fuck him! When I get to war, it's tennis scores. Love means nothing. Mm. Say you love my music. I haven't heard nothing you've written. You're an acapella rapper and you suck on a rhythm. You will always be a battle and you're stuck in a system. You look at it different, even your name's based on a judge's decision. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike your horrible mum. Because if she didn't have a neck, then what the fuck would she use for swallowing cum? <laughs> Speaking of neck, your mum's neck game's especially good. She could deep throw three blokes at once. That's why they call her neck the neck of the woods. <laughs> You, your record label, and a faggot that signs you. Whilst you're pushing new school club shit about loving money like you have a vagina, I'm keeping it old school like a chariot rider. Come class with a titan. Motherfucker, I pen raps till the pen snaps. You're off aim with the lead, like an amateur sniper. I'm a fucking graphic designer. <laughs> cardiovascular dies and you collapse in a cipher, you can blame it on the fact that you have the fragile anatomy of a cancer survivor. You've got the 
a swagger of an anorexic lesbian Go do menopause, so why the fuck you acting hench and aggressive for? Faggot, one blow, a disconnect your jaw And have your head, neck and chest looking like they were dismembered with a lioness's claws But let's get straight to the point No one gives a flying fuck about that one decent lab battle event of yours And no one here wants to hear your generic forced multi-syllabic setups and metaphors Any more skeletal, plus your fucking head's deformed And since you like to go on irrelevant multi-syllabic surges I'ma show you how that shit's supposed to be done, man. Observe this. Your mother's got a hook nose on some Alexandra Burke shit. <laughs> <laughs> and she's single simply because your dad prefers kids and ran away from home and you were nine to open up a string of Catholic churches. He used to put your niece on her knees and molest her till he snapped her back in half and cracked her sternum. Scream that he was Jesus and plaster her with massive sperm hits. Then proceed to stuff that dog like a taxidermist as he passed around a chapel like a flask of bourbon till she gassed it hurt because they gang banged the slack till they collapsed the service. Oh. You need a plastic surgeon, that's for certain. Cause you're an ugly motherfucker, bruv. I mean, I know I probably look like some sort of flabby vermin, but at least I don't look like somebody genetically combined organic sperm with a Nazi German. I did this battle for London to expose this bitch queer and to make this shit clear. Unanimous voice versus Jefferson Price. Bitch, you just live here. I don't shit here. For your height, you're quite aggressive. <laughs> you look awkward as fuck like that. I'm thinking, is this really him? Does he talk to his mum like that? <laughs> Let me get my sweat. <laughs> Look, listen, you bitch! As soon as you finish your shift, you better make sure my dinner is fixed. <laughs> I, I want fucking fillet of fish or chicken and chips. <laughs> Some fucking salt and vinegar crisps, some licorice sticks, and some Rizzler and six. <laughs> and have you seen this thing in my bedroom? You're gonna need to pick up the shit. There is such a thing as a bit. You know what you do, Tommy Villis? You take a verse from a song you've written and name it at the competition without one specific conscious dissing. Ooh. You use Wikipedia like the clock is ticking and it's stopping business. <laughs> it's a battle. I don't give a fuck about. Fucking quantum physics, Japan's economic system and its politicians. <laughs>